Hello and welcome to Leicester University's dissecting room. My name is Dr. Steve Jakes and I'm the head of anatomy here at the medical school. I'd like to introduce you to a couple more individuals who work down in the DR. We've got Ian White who is our dissecting room manager and does a lot of prosections and teaching down in the DR. And we've got Hazel Wright who is our chief embalmer and senior technician as well. The purpose of this video is just to give you a short overview of the DR, how it works and what you'll be learning down here. But first of all, I just want to tell you a few points about health and safety. Before you start in the DR, you'll receive a comprehensive health and safety booklet. Uh, but the most important points for you to acknowledge are that when you come into the DR, you need to be wearing a lab coat. You're at the top of your feet need to be covered with an appropriate piece of footwear, ideally made from a strong material such as leather. And when you're dissecting, you need to be wearing eye protectors, which we do provide. The kinds of resources that we've got in the DR are very varied, but the primary resource that we expect you to use to learn anatomy here at Leicester are the cadavers, the bodies of people who have donated to the medical school in order to help medical students to learn. So that's the primary resource that you'll be using to learn your anatomy down here in the dissecting room. However, we do have a number of other resources which you are more than welcome to use. For example, we have an osteological museum, which Nasif is just opening the door of there in the corner, containing a comprehensive array of bones for you to learn from. In addition to that, we also have a room at the back of the DR containing a wide range of plastic models. Now yes, we acknowledge that the cadavers are the best way to learn anatomy, but sometimes your learning can be further enhanced by the use of these models. Finally, an additional resource we have is a room in the corner there where we have Mrs. Horace. And Mrs. Horace is a cadaver which has been sectioned into a whole load of one centimetre slices to help you to learn cross-sectional anatomy of the human body. So, what will you be learning down in the DR? On average, you'll be having about two hours of dissection per week across the first two years of the course. In the first year, you'll be primarily concerned with the musculoskeletal system, so you'll be looking at the bones and muscles, and you can see here, for example, is a plastic model of an upper limb, so you'll be dissecting the limbs, uh, and you'll also be concerned with the cardiovascular system, which is primarily the heart. In the second year, you'll then be mainly concerned with the internal organs, so the lungs, the gastrointestinal tract, the reproductive system, for example. And you'll also get the opportunity to um, remove the brain and dissect the brain, which is a session that students tend to really enjoy. We've also got a few, a, a small selection of instruments here for you to look at. So if I just move over to this table, you can see here is a typical array of instruments that a first or second year medical student would be using to learn anatomy by dissection. But as you'll rapidly learn, the most important tool to use when dissecting is your hands, okay? Because none of these instruments can feel what your hands can. So I hope that's been a useful brief introduction to the dissecting room and we very much look forward to meeting you when you start.